my name is Krina and welcome to my channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will notice that I'm in love with the weather here. It is finally getting warmer in Toronto after eight long months. And this officially means that I have survived my first winter in Canada. In today's video, I will take you guys through my outfits, my footwear and my accessories where I bought it from, how much I paid for it, and whether it was worth it or not. So this video should help you if you are planning to move to a colder climate or if you're just planning to travel somewhere in the winter time. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into this video. So one of the main things that you need during the winter is a winter jacket and my criteria for a jacket was that it has to look good, it has to fit well and obviously it has to keep me warm. And these jackets are going to last at least 5 to 10 years as long as you stay the same size. It started getting cold around mid-October and it started snowing end of November and I was waiting for a sale to buy my jacket as we all know that these jackets are super expensive and I knew this was going to be something that I'm going to spend a lot of money on. So I wanted to wait for like a nice sale. So I was waiting for the Thanksgiving sale and the Black Friday sale. So in that meanwhile, I needed something to keep myself warm. So I did end up finding a warehouse sale and I bought this jacket from there. This is by Adidas and I paid $75 for this one. I personally don't think that it looks the best, but it obviously kept me warm. I could wear all my layers under it and it was nice for those two months that I wore it. But I was still looking for a good looking jacket and just for that, I went to the mall on Black Friday and all the stuff that was on sale was not what I was looking for. So I walked into the store called Soya and & Kill. I really liked one of the jackets there, okay? So I purchased it, it fit well, it looked good, it kept me warm, everything was perfect and I bought it for $635. During that entire day, I was still at the mall, I was on my phone and I saw that there was a third party website that was selling the same jacket for 25% off and we use this rebate website called Rakuten so if you're buying anything through the website you get a certain percentage of your money back so at that moment Soya & Kyo products were at 6% money back it's a very small percentage but that's gonna be a pretty big amount because the jacket is so expensive it's like $600 so we bought the jacket from the website we got 25% off of it and we got 6% money back so in total, I ended up paying $430 or $450. So basically I ended up saving $200 and that was crazy because that's a lot of money. And I was super happy. And yeah, here is my jacket. This is the jacket that I purchased and I'm in love with it. It looks so good. It makes my body look good as well. It's figure hugging. It's really warm. I love the collar. I love the hood. The material is great and it keeps me warm in any temperature. I absolutely love this jacket. I honestly feel so good every time I wear it. And I've been wearing this every single day from the first week of January to mid-May. This has definitely got to be one of my favorite things that I purchased for my winter closet. So the next important thing is footwear. And you have to have a good pair of shoes for the winter just to make sure you're completely covered from head to toe. My criteria for buying a good pair of boots was that if I'm going to be wearing this every single day, I wanted something that actually looked very good. Second thing was that it has to have a good grip. There are many times where there is ice on the ground and you're not gonna see it, it's called black ice, but it's very slippery and you can slip and fall. Thirdly, it has to be waterproof. So when you're walking outdoors, there's obviously snow everywhere, but when you step indoors, all that snow will melt on your shoes. So it has to be waterproof as well. And the fourth thing is that it has to keep you warm. I wanted something that has a fur lining so that my feet are really warm and toasty. And let me tell you that the boots that I bought had all the things that I just mentioned and I got this on Black Friday. So I bought my shoes from Hudson's Bay and I'm in love with it. I paid $135 for it. And before I went there, I already had a list of brands that I was looking for. So my top five brands were Columbia, Sorel, Timberland, Uggs, and Sperry. 
I wanted to buy a pair of boots only by those five brands. So this is the boot that I bought. It is by Columbia and you have to make sure you're buying a good pair. I absolutely love this pair. It has a perfect fur lining and even the lace goes all the way up to your calf. So it's really good and it fits very well. So one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that the sole is flexible. Now this is very flexible right now, but when it gets really cold, the rubber also gets very stiff and it makes it very difficult to wear them. It's very hard when you're walking in it and obviously your foot will start aching. Another thing to keep in mind is that your boots should be at least half a size or one size bigger than your actual foot size because you will need a good pair of thick socks. I will talk to you guys about my socks in a few minutes, but just make sure that your boots are a little bit bigger than what your actual foot size is. So thermals are super important, especially when it comes to layering. You want your layers to be as thin as possible and something that keeps you very warm as well. And I purchased mine from Uniqlo. They have three different kinds. They have the regular, the extra warm, and the ultra warm. So the first thing that I purchased was this leggings, which was in the ultra warm category, and they are actually really warm. I just ended up wearing this with my jeans and I was good to go. The second thing that I bought was this ultra warm turtleneck t-shirt. This turtleneck t-shirt was $20. I love it. It's really good. The only thing was that since it was turtleneck, I could not wear it with any of my sweaters, which were scoop neck the last thing that I bought was this scoop neck extra warm t-shirt which was for $20 and I actually loved this one so much better because it was much thinner and since it was a scoop neck I could wear it with all my t-shirts and my sweaters as well when you end up buying thermals please make sure you buy really good quality ones you can either end up buying the uniqlo ones and i've heard even long johns is a good brand whatever you buy make sure it's good it's soft it's comfortable because this is something which will be very close to your skin so you want to make sure that it's not too itchy when you wear them when you're layering you have to be super smart about it you cannot buy really thick sweaters and layer them up firstly you will look very big Secondly, it's not going to keep you warm. If I'm wearing my winter jacket and if I'm wearing my thermals, I would just need one more thin layer and I was good to go. I bought this t-shirt from Uniqlo. I really loved it. It's a nice turtleneck. It fits very well and it keeps me warm as well. I bought them for $10 or I think $15 max. And I loved it so much that I ended up buying five different colors in this. When it comes to bottom wear, I did not spend any money on that. I ended up wearing all my pants from India. My winter jacket kept my body warm till my knees and my boots kept my legs warm up to my calves. And these thermals were really good. So any pants that I wore on top of it, it was completely fine. So here's a fun fact. Every time you enter a place, you will have to remove your winter jacket. And the main thing is that anything that you're wearing under that will also have to look good. I did end up buying a lot of jackets and sweaters, but I can't show everything to you right now because this video is going to end up being longer than it already is. So here are a few hits and misses of all the stuff that I purchased. I bought this black furry sweater and I'm in love with it. I wore this so often. So the sweater was around $25 to $30 and I got it from Uniqlo again. I also ended up buying this blue furry sweater from Uniqlo again and this was $29. I usually ended up wearing this when I have to run some errands or I had to go to a grocery store. It was just more comfortable and warm. I also ended up wearing my leather jacket very often. I had purchased this from Zara when I was in Spain. This was around 25 euros. I also ended up going to a thrift store and Jahan fell in love with this furry overcoat. He had this whole bougie vibe in mind, but honestly, I just wasn't feeling it. I never wore it, but it's okay. It's not a big deal since it was only like 12 to $15. And another thing that I never ended up wearing was this uh, white vest. Jahan loved it again, but honestly, I just wasn't feeling cute in it. I never ended up wearing it again. Moving on to accessories, the first thing I'll talk to you about is socks. You definitely need a good thick pair of socks. The biggest mistake that I made was that I wore these really thin socks. I had purchased these from H&M a few years ago. So every time I wore these socks, my toes would always be cold. And this is where I started thinking that I might have made a mistake with the boots that I bought. I assumed that these boots were not right. Maybe it wasn't the right brand. Maybe I made a mistake with that. I ended up going to Uniqlo and I bought 
bought these pair of thick socks they fit so well and they're very warm now the only problem that i'm facing is that every time i wear these socks my boots get very tight i would recommend that if you're gonna wear thick socks please make sure your boots are at least one size bigger than your actual foot size so the next category is beanies or toques and some people call it toques, I like to call it beanies but basically it's the thing that covers your head but honestly I just wasn't a fan of this. I have a lot of beanies, I bought different designs, different colors just to make sure that maybe I like something. I just never felt good wearing it so I just never wore these. But I did notice that every time I cover my ears I felt a huge difference, I automatically felt warmer. So I did end up buying this headband. It covers my ears and it goes over my head, but I just never felt cute again. Honestly, I like feeling nice, especially when I'm wearing the same thing every single day. I want it to look good. But the only thing that I wore almost every single day was these earmuffs. These are very nice and fluffy. They covered my ears and it looked nice as well. When it comes to these accessories, honestly, you have to look cute in it. I know that there is a purpose of wearing these things, but if you don't feel good in it, you probably won't wear them. So that's one thing I would recommend. If you are gonna buy something, just make sure you love it. Just don't buy it for the sake of buying it. So the third category is a pair of gloves. I have a love-hate relationship with gloves. Honestly, I have lost so many of them. I do have a fluffy pair, which is nice and warm, but I just don't like the fact that it's so thick and bulky. And I also have a thin pair, which is not the warmest, but the best thing is that it has a grip on the fingertips. And this is good, especially when I'm using my phone. But honestly, my go-to hack for keeping my hands warm is to put them in my pockets. My winter jacket has really good pockets, so every time I'm outdoors, I would just keep my hands in my pockets and I was good to go. One of the last few things that I'll talk to you about is scarves. I do have a bunch of different scarves. I have really thin ones from H&M and I have this really nice one from Aritzia. So Jahan got this for me for Christmas. It was around like 50 or $60, which I think is very expensive. But the only thing is that every time I'm wearing a winter jacket, I don't like to wear a scarf because the jacket covers my neck as well. So I never really had to wear a scarf, but in case I was wearing a jacket or something else, I would literally just wrap the scarf around my neck to keep my neck warm and I would just tuck it in my jacket and I loved how it looked. I know this video is too long, but the last thing that I'll talk to you guys about is a hand and toe warmer. Every time I would go outdoors for maybe like a Christmas market or if I had to stay outdoors for five or six hours, I would just slide these into my gloves or my socks and I would be very warm, it would be very nice. And this is something you should definitely buy if you're going to be outdoors for too long. I know this video was very long, but I really hope it helped you in some way or the other. If you guys did end up liking this video, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. I'll be back with more videos very soon. Bye!